Welcome to Melnick's Kitchen. Today I am making bone broth. I have beef bones, chicken bones, pork bones, and some vegetables, carrots, celery, a nice onion, some tomatoes for acidity. I'm going to cut that all up, put it into my stock pot, and then cook it all day. I have my containers prepped and ready to go. And I'm going to first roast the bones in the oven. I'm going to coat them with olive oil, roast them for about 40 minutes. Then I'm going to put everything in a stock pot, cover it with water, with all the cut vegetables, and then just simmer it. So I'm going to work on the bones now. The bones. The flesh and bones. And then I'll be back. All right, so I have the bones out of the bags, and I'm going to be just lightly coating them, drizzling olive oil on them, all right? And then mix it up a little bit. They're all coated with the olive oil, and then I'm gonna put them on the pan to roast. These are the chicken bones. The chicken bones. I don't know if I have enough room, but we'll see. I might have more bones than pan. But I've got a bunch of nice chicken bones. So uh, I'm going to drizzle it all with olive oil. And then I'll be back. After I work with the bones. Alright, so I have all the bones covered, coated with olive oil. I'm going to put them in the oven for about 45 minutes. Let them roast. I might turn them in between that. And then after that, I'm going to fill them. I'm going to put them in a stock pot and cook. So I'll be back in a little while cutting the vegetables, okay? Anyway, we're back at Melnick's kitchen. I have the youngest Melnick, Madeline Melnick, right here. She's going to help me. She's going to be my sous chef and she's going to cut the vegetables. So we got a couple of knives here that are, you can see them, they are children friendly, so she can't slice her finger off and add it to the bones that are right here. So she's gonna cut these. Now with the soup, you don't have to be fancy with the vegetables. You can just cut any size, it doesn't matter because they all go into the soup stock anyway. So what you're gonna do is you're going to cut the carrots, Okay, and you're going to cut the celery, all right? So why don't you do one at a time, hold it, make sure it doesn't go flying. Very good. And you're going to keep doing that. So we're going to cut up all the vegetables. We're going to cut up the tomatoes. We're going to cut up the celery. By that time, the bones will be roasted. And we'll be ready to go. So. We'll be back in a minute after Maddie cuts up all the vegetables. So I read in a bunch of recipes that you should roast the vegetables too. I wasn't too psyched about doing that, but I figured let me do it anyway because a lot of the recipes say that. Bobby Flay's recipe says roast the vegetables. So we got the vegetables all cut up. We're going to put some olive oil on them, and then we're going to roast them in a pan underneath the bones, flip every 20 minutes. So we'll see how that comes out. So we'll be right back. So I'm back. 45 minutes later, the vegetables have roasted and the meat is roasted. I'm going to take them out, take a look at them, and put them into the stock pot, fill it with water, and simmer it all day. So let me look at this. Here. Got roasted vegetables. I'm going to put that in and then the meat. So I actually can't do it, I don't have enough room. But uh, I'll do it now and I'll come back in a little while to show you what the pot looks like with everything inside of it. Okay, I'm back again. I just put all the bones and the roasted vegetables into the stock pot. So I'm going to fill the stock pot up with water almost to the top. And then I'm going to put in a bay leaf and put in apple cider vinegar and simmer it for about 12 hours. So I'll see you in a little while. I'll probably come back in a couple hours to show you what it looks like. 